Greetings, this Ada Mini Lecture is going to be dealing with singly linked list. Specifically, how do we create one using pointers that we just saw in the previous lecture? Now, data structures are very common, and there are many included in Ada's standard library. However, this lecture isn't about how to use what's there, it's how to create what's there. So this is going to take advantage of the generic packages that we learned about uh, in a couple lectures ago and combine it with pointers that we just talked about to create an example of how a linked list actually works in Ada. So to start off with, um, we have to have our generic section of our particular package and then we have to say, well, what's generic? And in this case, I'm wanting to make data type be private because I don't want people working and manipulating my uh, linked list outside of that. And then uh, this file is called slist. So uh, for singly linked list, so I have to go through and define what it is. And I'm going to say, well, there is a node pointer because the uh, client for this is going to have to have access to this and I'm going to make it private because I don't want them messing with the pointers or changing anything around because once the linked list has been created it doesn't need to be modified by the client it just needs to be used and we have a particular node as well so the reason why we have two of these is because as we saw in Ada, you have the type and then you have the pointer to the type. So those are two of those. And then we have to think about functionality for this. So um, we have the method that's going to return the head of the list that is going to return a node pointer. And we're obviously going to have to have a get data function which will allow the user to get information out of a particular node. So this is going to return a data type and this is why we're using a generic package instead of um, just a regular one. And once we've got the head and the data, we'll need the ability to um, add to actually add after and this would be a procedure not a function so this is going to go through and add particular uh, value to the list after a particular node so this is going to take a node pointer And it's going to uh, take a particular data type. So this will add a particular value after a particular node. So we have our head node, we have our data node, our get data, and we'll also need the ability to tell is this null or not. And this is going to take a node pointer. So we can get the first part of the list. We can get this. We can get an add after. And another one that is useful would be the add, to, or not to, but add before the head node. So what this will do is we'll take, actually this isn't going to take a particular pointer. This is going to just take a data type. So there's these are our basic functions that we're, and procedures we're going to need to manage a singly linked list. Uh, obviously, I haven't added delete to this, but uh, you can uh, look at 
once if we create this, what would you need to do to that would be a good exercise uh, for yourself to, to work out exactly how this would work. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to add in a private section that uh, defines the type node as a record that is going to hold in this particular case another node pointer that points to the next node and then the particular data type itself and then we have to define the pointer that allows access to nodes otherwise we just have an array of nodes and an array is not a linked list. So this is our basic linked list um, package specification. So obviously we're going to have to go through and implement each of these. So we have to go through and specify the fact that we have a package body for uh, S list is And then we save this as slist.adb. Now, one difference between all of this is the fact that, well, we have to have a particular note. And we can store this as a particular variable that's only accessible to the inside of this package. Now, this is the node itself, and then I'm going to have my node pointer to this, and by default it's going to be null because, well, the list starts off and it's empty. Now this, what, I, what I'm doing is this is considered a dummy note. It's not going to be used to really hold information. I just know that there's always going to be a head node, so if I need to get access to it, I know exactly where it is. And this is going to tell me that it isn't or hasn't been created yet. So in this case, what we would do is we would say, well, if head is null, or actually we wouldn't even need to do a check, we would just return, actually we would need to do a check, Otherwise, we would return head of next. So that's our basic get method to get the information for where this is. Now, in this get data, um, it appears that I forgot to add in a rather important uh, piece of information to this because we obviously have to have access to a particular node to get the data out of it. Now we're, we have to do this because of the private that we had in the uh, package up here. So now we've got that changed around. Oops. Not quite changed around. 
So there's no point in sending data type in and I get data function for this. So we're going to need a particular pointer for this. So we're going to call this new node of node pointer. And then our new node is going to uh, be equal to a new node. And then we'll say new node.data is equal to the data that we are getting. And then if I'm wanting to add after a particular node, then I would just simply say pointer dot next is equal to new node. And that would therefore um, add the value after this particular node. Note this is a destructive add after. This isn't a add in between nodes, it's just simply works on adding it after a particular node. So this is not going to be a complete length list, it's just here are a few pieces to it, and then you can put together exactly what you need to be added for um, the list itself. Now, if you noticed up here, we had this idea of a dummy node. So this add before head is really going to be our uh, key to creating this. Because in this we're going to say if head is null, then what we're wanting to do is we're going to want to point the head node or head to be equal to a particular uh, pointer. So in this case I'm going to say new node of this and I'll just say new node dot data equals data and then I'm going to say head is going to be the head node of access and I'm going to set the head nodes next to be equal to the new node. This is a little bit more uh, involved than some methods, but essentially what this allows us to do is if we want to add before the head, all we would have to do would say um, we would set new node next to be head node of next. So now essentially we've got two pointers pointing to the second node in the list with this. And then I just simply reset the head node's next pointer to be the new node. and make sure that the data is inserted as well. Now because we have private types, we have to have this simple function that allows us access to these pointers so that I can see if n is null, then return true, else return false, and if. So this is the basic access function for this. So here we have the, the basic pieces of a linked list. Obviously not a complete one, but 
the basics. So let's see how many compilers we have in this before we go through and start working on the client to demonstrate that this is correct. Interesting. So let's make sure that this matches the specification. And add that in because we forgot that before. Okay, so now we've gotten a slightly different. Um, piece of information. So let's go back to our package. So in this case, uh, all is required. And what that means is I forgot to allow it access to each piece of the particular uh, node itself because I do have the head or pointer equal to my dummy node. So we have to have the all there because of that. So let's go through and create um, the S client, singly list client procedure. That is going to use this particular link list. So, because of this, we're going to need to say get our text IO and the integer text. basic data hello world put together here and then we'll start uh, modifying that. Okay, so that compiles. So now we're going to say with S list and we're not going to use a particular use with this because this is a generic package. So we're going to have to say package um, and then we have to figure out what type we're doing. So in this case, I'm going to say package I list is a new S list. And then our data type is going to be a type integer. Now, I didn't fully specify this, but we can also just say data type of integer. So this is where generic meets specific. And I am modifying I list or creating I list for a generic type for this. Let's make sure that compiles. Okay, so it does give us a few warnings about code over in the other package, but that's not that big of a deal. We'll work on those once we actually uh, get some testing for this. So we've got this. Now we need to actually create an instant. Uh, an actual version of this that we can use. So I'm going to use the I list to make this a little easier when we're doing the code. So if we're wanting to have several integers, we'll just store this in one of these, and I'm going to call this I'm going to be I list, and I have to say which particular data type is going to be used 
It's an ADA uh, ism, and inside of the package, that's a node pointer. So now we have our linked list that we can actually access. So if I'm wanting to add something before the head, well, let's add three, two, and one. So this should allow us to go through and add the values 3, 2, and 1 to our link list. So let's just run this, see what happens. Oops. So it gives us a constraint error. Let's go look at this. This is in this client, it's in this list. And it didn't like what we did here. And this is because I didn't create the new node. So this was essentially a null pointer issue. Because by default, new node doesn't point to anything. Oops. And it's not a new node, it's a new node itself. So if you notice, Paying attention to these warnings sometimes makes sense because that warning told me that I didn't do anything with that. this, I just started using it. So by creating it, then we were able to efficiently use it without any of the problems. Now, in this case, we've got three values added to the head of the particular list. So we need to go through and go back to our client and create a pointer that we're going to say get the particular head node in the list. And then we can go through and let's double check. So is null is the function we are using. So we're going to go through and we are going to get the particular data out of this. And then we have to look at our particular ones. So we need an ability to walk from one node to another. So that's one thing we left out of this particular list. So we're going to have to have a git next that is going to return a particular node pointer. And this get next is going to have to take a node pointer as well. So this will allow the client access into the list itself. So let's go through and add this to our particular link list. Now I'm not doing this in order, but it doesn't matter. Now, obviously, this is not error checked. So if I pass in a bad pointer, it's going to cause an error. Oops. Forgot to begin on that. So now I've got to get next method that will So this will go through and pull the data out, and then this should print out the information. Let's see if this works. So 
So I added 3, then I added 2, then I added 1. So this is our basic linked list that contains uh, integers. Now, if I didn't want this to contain integers, I could put a float there. I could put a string. I could put a record type in this. So what this uh, mini lecture has hopefully shown you is how to create a package that's generic, how to instantiate that particular package, how that package can use variables that are specific to the package and cannot be accessed on the outside, and how those variables using pointers can be um, used internally to provide a particular data structure. In this case, a linked list. And we looked at several uh, small utility functions that aren't all that difficult to write. Uh, and it all depends on how you've got it set up. Uh, obviously, this may be an interesting choice to have a pointer and a particular node. You may be, be thinking, let's just use a pointer itself. But it's all up to you on how you want create these individual variables for the function itself. So this is a pretty easy way to go through and add some very nice functionality because with a linked list if I need to reorder information I don't have to copy um, data like which is what you would have to do if you had to reorder or in case you were trying to sort an array. Um, through this, you can just change pointers in their locations for this to work. If you're trying to insert information in the middle of it, you're not going to have to copy you know, lots of uh, data from that. So, in terms of performance, uh, pointers give us a completely different way of looking and working with information uh, and with ADA than what we've currently seen before. So. This is an example lecture, and hopefully this will help you in writing with better ADA programs.